This is Agent Mateus Class guiding you for our lesson for our new lesson for today. Our lesson for today is seconds, tangents, segments, and sector of a circle. This is the second quarter, week number five of Grade 10 Mathematics. This is Mr. Reyes guiding you for our lesson for today. Our learning objectives are the learner illustrates seconds, tangents, segments and sectors of a circle. Later on, we are going to solve problem involving these parts of our circle. Magumpisa tayo with this warm-up activity. This is all about pizza. Do you know that if you have a pizza with radius Z and thickness A, the volume of that is also pizza. Paano tayo nagkaroon ng pizza na sinob natin that the volume is also pizza? Ang concentration kasi dito is came from the volume of our cylinder. Kung naalala nyo nung grade 7 o kaya grade 6 na mention ang pagkuhan ng volume ng ating cylinder na kung saan nakadepende ito sa height ng ating parang hugis lata na kung tawagin. And with that, our pizza has the thickness of A also. So we just have to substitute yung pi dito na translate lang into pi. And the R here will be substituted out of that is Z ang ating radius dito. So we convert or substitute lang natin. And the thickness happened to be A. With that, nakakuha tayo ng ganitong expression. And we could expand that one. And we could have the final answer of pizza. Medyo may pagka-joke ng konti, but that's the very somewhat entertaining activity when it comes to pizza with a volume of pizza. Okay? We will start with lesson number one. Our lesson number one is all about sectors and segments of a circle. Nung mga nakarang araw, dinefine natin ng sector ng circle that is actually a region bounded by two radii, ito yung dalawang radii natin, and also by an intercepted arc by this red dito sa ating drawing. Yung shaded part na ito in yellow is all about the sector of our circle. Ngayon, magkakaroon tayo ng formula behind that sector of our circle. To find the area of a sector, we will be using this one, wherein we are going to get the product of the measure of central angle over 360 and we are going to multiply that with the area of our circle. Again, our central angle is an angle with a vertex as the center of the circle and the two sides of that angle are the radii of the circle. So, kakailanganin mo to para may substitute dun sa formula na ito because the area of a sector is C over 360 times pi over R squared. Bakit kaya nagkaroon tayo ng ganitong formula? Because we are only getting the fractional part of the circle and we are multiplying that to the entire for, uh, area of our circle. So, mamaya, if we figure out natin on how to deal with the example, by the use of the given situation there, given radius or central angle. And tandaan ng pi ay 3.14 in rounded to the two, uh, two decimal places, our R is radius, and the C here stands for the measure of our central angle. Here is our first example. We are given sector CDE. Okay? This is the shaded in gray wherein we are going to find the area of the sector having a radius of 6 cm with a central angle noted to be 70 degrees. Though our 70 degrees is written at the arc portion of our figure here or circle, that is also equivalent to our central angle. So basically, ang ating central angle dito ay 70, uh, 70 degrees also because central angle 
is actually same as the measure of the degree measure of our arc or intercepted arc we will be using this formula so from our given example the central angle is 70 degrees we will be dividing that into 360 and in the long run you will have 70 over 360 pi times our 36 which is the square of our 6 kung titignan mo we could cancel everything here we could cancel this zero because they belong to the uh, last digit of our numerator and denominator that's one of the techniques also and nakita din natin na meron tayong 36 and 36 that could be cancelled also so we ended with 7 pi if we are going to substitute the 3.14 you will arrive at 21.98 square centimeter pakatandaan na pagdating sa area always square unit ang ating ginagamit pagdating naman sa segment Maari nating kunin din ng area nito. Ang segment ng circle is a region bounded by our arc at saka ang chord. Kung kanina sector ang ating pinag-uusapan na bounded ng dalawang raday et, at saka isang arc, ngayon naman arc at saka chord ang ating gagamitin. Sa ating drawing na ito, meron tayong chord dito and meron din tayong arc. Yung red portion dito, Ito yung segment ng ating circle. Paano ba kinukuha ang area ng segment ng ating circle? Ito yung gagamitin nating instruction. To find the area of the shaded segment in red na nandito, we just have to subtract the area of our triangle. Kung nakikita nyo yung triangle dito, kunin natin ang area ng triangle na yan because the result of that will be subtracted from the area of our sector. So, kanina na ituro ko sa inyo kung paano kinukuha ang area ng sector. Sa so, para makuha yung area ng ating segment, kailangan mong kunin muna yung area ng sector. Tapos, area ng triangle, pag subtracting natin, mag tayo sa basic formula na ito. Again, area of our segment Kunin muna ang area ng sector natin, yung parang slice of pizza dito. So, subtract natin yan dito sa formula behind our triangle here. This is the derived formula out of uh, a triangle na pwedeng mabuo or isosceles triangle na pwedeng mabuo dito sa ating circle. Uh, you recall mo yung pagkuha ng sign, okay, trigonometric ratios tayo. You can use your calculator later on to get the sign of a certain angle or central angle. Okay? So, let's go to the example. We are going to find the area of our segment KLM. KLM, this is our segment na tinutukoy. What will be the area of this uh, shaded part of our circle which is the segment of our circle? We will be using pi equals to 3.14 and later on we are going to round off our answer to the nearest hundreds or two decimal places. We will apply this formula once again, substitute everything because from the given example our central angle measures 60 degrees, lagay lang natin, that is to be all over 360, multiply that by 3.14, substitute the radius which is 8. You will have 8 squared here. Substitute also the R here. Nakita nyo, meron tayong 8 na inilagay. And we bring down, we brought down our sign here. And substitute the value of C also, which is 60. So, upon reading your calculator, if you are going to press everything here, you will this part, you will arrive at exactly 33.49. While this one, pressing your 1 half or 0 0.5 times 64 times the sine of 60 in your calculator or scientific calculator, you will have 27.71. And with that, you will arrive at 5.78 square meter. So therefore, the area of this segment is 5.78 square meter. At this point, papaano kung ang ating hinahanap na segment ay walang given na central angle. 
may mga given sa mga iba't ibang aklat na hindi given ng central angle kundi given ng radius at saka yung chord na bounded doon sa ating segment. Pipilitin nating makuha ito sa pamamagitan ng medyo malawak na computation. Unang ating kukunin is ano kaya yung height ng triangle na ito? Because the basic area of a triangle is given by the formula of area is equal to one half base times height. Na ituro yan sa yun nung elementary ka or pagdating mo ng grade seven na pagalaman mo yung mga formula ng mga area. Again, kukunin natin yan, kilangan nating mag-arrive into certain number. Napansin mo, yung 24 cm kanina ay ginawa nating 12 and another 12 dito. Dahil, nung nakaraang discussion natin, na-approve natin na kapag ang ating radius ay perpendicular sa isang chord, nagkakaroon tayo ng chord na nababaysek. So kung 24 yung original, magiging 12 ang sukat dito. We are given 13 cm nagkaroon tayo dito ng right triangle and from that, maaari natin gamitin ng Pythagorean theorem mamaya-maya hanggang sa mag-arrive tayo ng ating x ay 5 cm. Subukan natin kunin. Gamit ng Pythagorean theorem, makakabuo tayo ng equation na x squared which is denoted by x dito, kunwari hindi pa natin nakuha plus 12 squared which is the square of the another leg and 13 square which is the square of our hypotenuse and from that i bring down natin ang x squared transpose the 12 squared to the other side becomes negative 12 squared with that makakaroon tayo ng x squared equals to 25 dahil nakuha yung 25 by 169 ito minus 144 makakaroon tayo ng 25 We could get the square of square root of 25, magiging 5 centimeter tayo. So yun yung nagawa nating height ng ating triangle. So dahil yan, maari na nating kunin yung ang area ng triangle natin, because the area of a triangle is one half base times height. Ang ating height na gagamitin ay 5 centimeter, ang ating base na gagamitin is 24 centimeter, hindi 12 centimeter. Dahil ang entire base ng ating triangle na shaded in yellow dito ay mayroong base na 24 cm. Substitute natin, that's one half times the uh, height ang nauna and times the base which, which is 24. Pag isi-simplify mo yan, you will arrive at 60 square cm. So yan pa lang yung area ng triangle natin. Hindi pa yan yung area ng ating segment na hinahanap dito. So, paano natin kukunin? Alamin natin muna ang area ng sector. Yun yung isa pang pro-problemahin natin. Kasi kung ano man yung makuha natin area ng sector dito, isusubtract natin yung area ng triangle. Dahil doon, may iwan yung segment na ito na pinaghahanap natin from the very start. Pero ang problem nga, wala pa tayong uh, central angle na given sa ating problem. Ano kaya yung measure ng central angle na ito? Kung naalala mo, during your grade 9, na napag-aralan mo yung tinatawag na trigonometric ratios. Maaari nating makuha yan sa pamamagitan ng inverse ng isa sa mga trigonometric ratios. At this point, we will be using the sine. At this point, nawawala nga yung angle, so kailangan mong mag-inverse ng sine dito. Paano mo kukunin gamit ang iyong calculator, maaari mong pindutin yung shift na nandyan sa iyong calculator followed by sign uh, of my negative one dyan, na nandyan makikita mo yung command dyan. Tapos, isusunod mo, napipindutin yung 12 over 13. Maaari mong i-open and close parenthesis na lang. And then, press the equal and lalabas yung itong 67.38. Again, pindutin ang shift and then inverse of signs somewhere in your calculator and followed by uh, open and close parenthesis of 12 over 13. And with that, lalabas yung 67.38. Take note, yung 67.38 na ito ay nandito pa lang yan sa portion na ito. That is not the central angle yet because the entire central angle will be started here up to this portion. And for that, 
malalaman natin na kapag dalawang 67.38, yan yung ating pinaka-central angle, which is 134.76. Gagamitin natin yan ngayon sa pagkuha ng area ng ating sector. Gagamitin natin, kung naalala mo, yung formula ng ating sector, we have a measure of central angle over 360, multiply that by pi r squared. So, pi and then r squared, our uh, radius is 13, so we have 13 squared here. Using your calculator, you will arrive at 198.74 square centimeter. Is this the final answer? No. Kailangan pa nating gamitin ito kabilang yung area ng triangle kanina dahil pag so subtracting nga natin yun for us to arrive at the expected area of our segment. Ibalik natin yung mga measurements na nakuha natin. Ang area ng sector natin a while ago is 198.74 square centimeter. Yan yung area ng ating parang slice of pizza. Magsimula dito hanggang doon, hanggang dito, hanggang dito. Ngayon, tatanggalan natin yung triangle na yan, ito, na nakuha natin kanina, which is amounted to 60 square centimeter. Pag susubtrakin natin yung dalawang yan, makakuha natin yung area ng ating segment na pinagahanap from the very start. So, therefore, the area of our segment is 138.74 square centimeter. Lesson number 2. Isa pang mahalagang pinag-aaralan sa circle ang ay pag-measure ng length ng mga arc. Kung naalala mo yung mga previous discussions natin, we are not getting the length of our arc kundi the degree measurement of our arc na kinukumpare natin sa degree measurement ng ating central angle at saka inscribed angle. Pero ngayon, ang pag-uusapan natin ay yung mismong length ng ating arc. Makukuha yun sa pamamagitan ng formula na L is equal to C over 360 times the area, ah, not area, kundi this is the formula behind the circumference of our circle. We are only getting the fractional part of our circumference. Kagaya kanina sa pagkuha ng sector, we are only getting the fractional part of the area of our circle. So again, We will be applying that formula to get the measure of this arc na nandito or the length of the arc na nandito na nakasalalay syempre sa central angle na pwedeng ibigay ng ating uh, circle dito. So you need to figure out first ano yung measure ng ating central angle na pwedeng i-substitute bago makuha ang ating length ng arc. So through example, kagaya nito, we will be finding the length of an arc From the given figure, later on, with a central angle of 50 degrees with a radius of 6 cm, we will be applying 3.14 as our pi and later on, ang final answer natin ay nakalagay sa 2 decimal places. Ito yung ating figure. Kanina, kung nabasa mo yung problem, the radius is 6 cm and the central angle is 50 degrees. So with that, we will be applying this formula to find the length of an arc. Our central angle is amounted to 50 degrees and all over 360. Imumultiply natin yan syempre sa circumference ng ating circle which is denoted by 2 pi r. So 2 times pi times our radius which is 6 cm. And for that, maaari natin makuha yung pi times 12. How come na naging ganyan? Because... Uh, we just have to multiply this to N6 medyo na interchange nga lang napunta dito yung mga products nila again we, we will cancel everything there as you notice pwede natin i-cancel yung 12 and 360 you will have 50 and 30 and pwede mo na rin makancel ito kung gugustin mo we have to eliminate the 0 no naiwan na lang is 5 third pi and you could uh, substitute 3.14 so you will have The length of this arc is 5.24 cm. I hope nakuha mo yung process on how to get the length of our arc.